The problem with the hub is that everybody receives everybody else's data. These two hosts over here, which are uninvolved in the communication between these two hosts, are receiving a copy of everything they send, which brings us to bridges. Here, we have two sets of hosts, all interconnected using a hub, and a bridge is meant to sit in between hub-connected hosts. Bridges, by definition, only have two ports, one port facing one set of hub-connected devices and another port facing the other set of hub-connected devices. Bridges will also then learn which hosts are on which side of the bridge. This will allow the bridge to contain communication to only the side that is necessary. For example, if these hosts again need to speak to each other, when they send data to each other through that hub, the hub is of course going to simply regenerate that signal at all ports and notice that the bridge is going to be getting a copy of that packet. But the bridge knows that the other green host is on this side of the bridge, and therefore the bridge isn't going to bring that packet to the other side. The bridge is the first type of device that helps contain packets only to their relative networks. On the other side, if these hosts need to speak to each other, they can also send packets to each other through their hub, and once again, the bridge will not let those packets bleed into the other side because it knows the yellow devices exist on the right hub. And of course, if this device needs to send something to this device, the bridge is going to know that that traffic is going to have to cross the bridge, and the bridge will allow that packet to traverse to the other side.